So we're gonna quickly run the, this over. Everyone knows the Hammond's nail out. <coughs> Sorry, I am sick. Videos of the, the rest of the keto diet stuff will be coming out. I'm editing them now, but I wanted to make this video as soon as possible. But Hammond's out. He is literally a fucking gerbil in what looks like the thing from the fucking Incredibles. Why the fuck do we need that in the game? I don't know. I thought it was gonna be a chimp that looked like someone in an Iron Man suit and he had like the face popping off and like you could see the face of the chimp inside this. We don't need something that looks like the Incredibles bad guy ball from the Incredible One. Shut up! <laughs> that being said, I'm gonna tell you what I think, no, I think Blizzard could do to fix the hero's current state because yes, I think he's a bit overpowered. Uh, a lot of people don't seem to have that same agreement, but I think he is. Uh, but it's, it's, why is this so sensitive? Pretty easy fix, right? So everyone shows like, oh, the head, headshot like melts them straight away. Of course it's gonna melt them straight away. It's a fucking headshot. You fucking step in here with any other hero, you don't think it's gonna melt? Like, look at fucking soldier. Soldier's fucking head, headshot damage. Like, look at that. Soldier melts so much faster than any other hero. Like, that was faster than fucking Hammond could do. Like, look at that shit. Hammond can't do that at all. I mean, granted, Soldier's DPS. Uh, okay, but then, let, let's, fuck. Let, let's go to fucking the other option here, which is Orisa. Orisa, if she's landing headshots, she's just as fucking damaging. Look at that. Destroys destroys melts yeah she's not as long range let's see if i can get a long range actually let's go over here because i know that i get hit okay, there we go fucking long range shooting full health clears it pretty fast hammond even if you do pulse fire because of his spread that's with pulse firing so it doesn't have the spread look at that i'm legitimately trying to kill him it's taken more than a whole mag that took way too long and if I wasn't to burst fire, this is what happened. Control. No burst fire. Whole mag. It takes basically, takes basically about the same amount of time with Hammond. So that, I'm not worried about. His damage isn't the problem. It's the fucking grapple. His seismic slam shit, I don't mind that. It's a cool idea. It just adds another thing to stun, but it's not a bad idea, right? It's really not. If so I can just get our ultimate up real quick. He is definitely not a long range hero, but the main problems I have is he starts off with too, with too much health, right? He's gonna basically be the most effective dive tank in the game, even more effective than Diva. If, if I let all four of these fuckers spawn, I can get 100 shield for every person, and he already has 600 health, and like 100 of that is armor. I'll, I'll pop this shit in a second and see if I can get all four. I only got two. I, only, I got three actually, so I got 900 health. But if you jump on a team with a full six people in one spot, you're 1,200 health. That is way too much. He is a tank without any sort of protecting abilities for his team. And in my opinion, that's what tanks should be. They should be protecting their team. Now, I wouldn't care as much, maybe, if this um, shield ability actually projected it to your teammates as well as yourself. Like, if you did this and you could pro project your shield to each person around you, and for every person, enemy that's near you, they get 50 health as well as you get 50 health. That way, your teams get a slight projected shield. There is no heroes now that actually give you projected shields because Symmetra is now. Uh, Symmetra. Another big problem that I don't like is this grappling hook. But you can do this. The amount of shitty contests that people have been doing already, just in their damn, like, quick play games, is dumb. It is dumb. Like, look at this shit. You can go through walls. You can't do that with Widow's shit. You can't do that with Widow's grappling hook. You shouldn't be able to do this with this grappling hook. I think once it clips into something like a wall or a floor, not necessarily the guardrails, but like the floor or walls, it should um, break the grappling hook. 
It should legitimately break the graphic. Because all you see right now at the moment is quite literally this. I'll show you. Frankly annoying to see. See? Look at this shit. I can just constantly spin my thing and I'll always stay in this high powered mode. Deal maximum damage that I can. Take minimal damage. And point contested. Point held. And unless you heavily get focused by the team, they ain't gonna stop you. It's dumb. I should be stopped once I get clipped into a wall. This is the dumb part of this hero. I mean, I get they wanted to add a bit more diversity in the game. I don't mind he's a ham that he's a hamster. I really don't care that he's a hamster. I know people that legitimately are going to stop playing the game because they put a hamster in the game. Like, that's how silly some people are being. But, it's the clipping. This should not be happening. If this doesn't get nerfed, he's going to be broken. Like, this needs to be fixed. If he's going to keep the shields projected for himself, he should already have a lot less health. Or they should nerf the amount of shields you get. Or both, honestly. Or both. I mean, I do like the fact that you don't need much of a jump to be able to do a size of slam. That, that's a, a nice quality of life thing, in my opinion. I don't mind that you can get into high grounds like that. That is not a problem to me. Right? Not a problem to me at all. What I have a problem with is the clipping of the grappling hook. Now, the, the, the mines, I love the fact that we've got these sort of mines in here. This is something that I've been wanting personally, because it's crowd control, it's area denial. We don't have any hero in the game like this, that does area denial this well. And they don't last forever, look at this shit, he's not been touched. Sorry, touch my mind. He's not been touched yet. And then he dies. That's fine. I don't know how much damage they do, that's for sure. I'd want to know how much damage they do. I'm sure I can find that online somewhere. But I don't plan to find out because at the moment I don't give a shit. What I care about is this fucking grappling hook problem. The rolling stuff, I don't mind that you get like a speed increase from it. You know, it's, it's, it's bound to happen. He looks like something out of the fucking Incredibles is another thing I dislike. They mix two different um, laws from the Overwatch universe into one just so they don't have to worry about having people complain about not having the other one. There were some people saying, I want Wrecking Ball. Some people saying, I want Hammond. And they put them both in as one to save them the trouble. <coughs> I'm sick. Okay. He needs to either have the damage nerfed a tiny bit or his spread increased. Because his ult charge is also too fast. His ult charge is way too fast. Like, I'll, I'll pop the shit. I'm sure you can't get ult charge. Oh, you can get ult charge back. I'll get ult charge back as fast as I possibly can. Bastard. It does not take many kills to get you back into your ultimate. This is a very short team fight that you, and that's that's like one team fight you get your ultimate back. That's that's dumb. That it should something that critical to happen. It should be like two team fights worth of fighting. But it's not. It's a lot more than that. It's a lot more than that. Please explain it. So it did how much? Fucking sit still. Five. That's 125 damage. Okay, 125 damage for these mines. That's fine. I mean, it stops the tracer. That's for sure. Stops the engine pretty well. It's the grappling hook that needs to be fixed to stop its clipping through things. Otherwise, it's just too strong. The ult charge needs to be reduced. Like you can't, you either can't get the ult charge as fast, or to fix the ult charge problem, they either need to reduce. The they need to increase the spread or reduce the damage. Because reducing this, increasing the spread or reducing the damage will, like, slow down the ult charge. But they could just keep the damage and the spread the same. Because I don't think that's too bad by just reducing the rate at which he gets his ult charge. Slow it down by five, ten percent, something like that. Something minor, something not insane. 
Because this guy is going to be fucking retarded to play again. He looks fun. He's a high skill cap tank. He instead usually Diva's like a low skill cap tank that dives on people. Yeah. This guy, he's a high skill cap, but this should not be happening. I should not be able to do this. I should not be able to go through walls with a grappling hook. It should cut off as soon as I hit a wall. That's all I have to say to you guys. That is my opinion of it all. So I really do hope you enjoyed it. The video, at least. Um, and see where I'm coming from, at least, with my point of view. Because I think it's a valid thing to want. Because um, project low skill, high reward, lots of value. And way too easy to, to run through. Moira, the exact same. Like, the last two heroes have made it so easy to play this game and just get so much out of doing nothing. Fuck. It's, that's it. That's all I have to say. That's how I think they can fix this hero. Before it goes live. And if Blizzard does watch it, which I really doubt. But if you do, just come on. Come on. Really? Come on. That's all. That's it. Reduce the alt charge neither by the, the increasing the spread or reducing the damage or just in, in general, just reducing the, how fast he gets his ult charge and make it so you, your grapple can't clip through shit. Make it so you can't physically go through a wall with the grapple without it cancelling out. Make it so if you hit the wall, it's like hitting spacebar and it cancels the fucking grappling hook. There's only one other grappling hook in the game and that's a straight hook with, um, with Widow. She can't grapple through crap. If she grapples to something, she can't swing around. So I get they just probably put the same grapple mechanic in for this hero but you just get so much stupid shit i've seen so many videos of what happens with the stupid shit that happens with this guy already and it's been a day it's been a day like it came out yesterday morning it is now the day after at eight o'clock at night like it's it's too much it's too much of a broken ability not a broken hero it's just too much of a broken ability. The ult gets too fast and it clips through shit. That's my only shit. That's my only worries. That's my only gripe with the hero. I like him. I like his guns. I like his cuteness. I want to see his skin. But yeah. Thank you. See you all in the next video. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. That was so good. You just blew. Oh, you do get this right. <laughs> I was on one of the. Stop fucking sneezing! I'm the sick one here, fucker.